Fat City Customs, man. Look up badass in the dictionary and this is what you're going to see. This is an absolutely stunning full frame up brand new custom by Johnny Moore at Fat City Choppers. This was a demo bike that not for people to ride but just to put in his showroom so that people could see exactly what kind of badass bikes he was turning out and what he could build for you. If you've if you're a Connecticut based rider you knew Fat City Choppers. Johnny was known for turning out the best custom full frame up bikes he was the orange county choppers of connecticut so to speak and he would build you anything this bike here as i said earlier was a masterpiece testimony to the kind of work they could turn out and kind of a uh, example of what they could build so you could see and say okay i want to change this and that he could build anything you can see they did the paint jobs in-house they did fabrication in-house they did full frame up assemblies in-house this one here johnny built as a as a um, example and also one that he would ride so he built it what the weight and this is a guy who built hundreds of custom choppers over the years over decades of, of building motorcycles started starting with the frame it's long it's low it's lean and it's black Kenny you, you knew the manufacturer of the frame right yeah it's a craft tech frame and it's a 80 cubic inch evolution motor which has been completely rebuilt this is everything on the bike is brand new um, Senior, what do you, it, what it, you it, it kind of reminds me of the Indian Larry. This reminds me of the, the Indian Larry's favorite bike. It has a very low, uh, his personal rider, a Jesse James, an OCC bike. Well, Johnny from Fat City Customs was Fat City Choppers was turning out the sickest choppers. Two of his brand new choppers are are being auctioned off this weekend. If you're asking, why, if you're wondering why, everybody, well, you know, why is he closing his shop? Well, Johnny has some serious medical issues. He was going to leave the, the business to his son. Unfortunately, his son. Uh, Dimitri passed away a couple years ago, so um, there's no one to take over the business. So Johnny shut down the shop, bought over trailer loads of Harleys, 
in parts and everything for us to sell and we're liquidating everything including this bike again this is brand new on the mso it's never been registered this was built as a uh testimony to his skills look at the saddle on this thing brown leather with all the uh the drilled bolts and nuts on it the frame is 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 brand new and beautiful the springer front end has got some nice pinstriping on it the headlight is a bullet style headlight with the springer front end eight inch risers drag bars uh mini uh front brake uh master cylinder the caliper is all chrome rotors custom it's got a 60 spoke front custom laced front wheel with the black rim and uh, it's running the avon v71 cobra front tire on the on the bike the um take a close-up look at this wheel man this thing is just a just a beautiful piece man it's an mh90 by 21 the rear it's got a big fat rear tire on here it's a cobra on the back too um let's see i can't see the size of it but it's look how fat this rear rim is it's on here somewhere yeah here it is a 180 85 zr18 uh, now it's a hardtail, so we're only running about 20 pounds of rear pressure. It's a 180 rear tire, which isn't too fat. I've ridden a lot of choppers. I've ridden uh, Bourget choppers. I've ridden Orange County choppers. And when you go too long or too long of a front end and you put too fat of a rear tire, they handle like shit. This bike handles amazing for a, hard, for, uh, a chopper hardtail. I was zooming down the road here. It has a nice uh, light feel to it. Um, and the running gear, he put the best of everything on this thing. He went with a Harley Davidson motor. This is not an Ultima or an SMS. This is a genuine Harley Davidson V twin, 80 cubic inch, 1340 cc's with the, the nice tasty upgrades like the SNS carburetor with the motor, uh, American Cycles air cleaner, open air cleaner. Of course, everything's brand new. The carburetor, the intake, the throttle cable, everything on the bike is brand new. The motor was. Uh, Previously, in a, in a stock Harley Davidson, he bought the motor, built it for this application. Full custom, two into two dual exhaust. And take a zoom in on here. This is a top of the line transmission, Ultima six speed transmission with the chrome covers, uh, aluminum transmission. Um, just a beautiful piece. The oil tank has a really nice 05 logo on there. Nice Fat City Customs, red and white and black uh, pinstripe on, on the back here. Um, must have killed the bug when I wrote it. A bug, bug splatter on there. Awesome chrome uh, with the uh, silver chain, chrome sprocket silver chain. Look at the rear taillight on this thing. Billet with a custom uh, license plate bracket. Massive rear wheel, black in chrome to match the front. Dude, the open primary and the chain drive is. And then you get the Springer front end, just the profile and the seat of the bike. This is the bare knuckle, whiskey neat bar to bar special right here boys <laughs> yeah this is about this as ba badass as they come the open primary uh when, when i was a member of the fifth chapter mc uh there was a guy named uh kickstand and he had a pan head chopper that was set up in a frame just like this man and, and uh this kind of reminds me of his bike it's it's a classic american chopper long lean low and black so the picture speak for itself. The bike speaks for itself. We bought it into the shop. This bike was in Johnny's showroom for a couple of years with pump gas in it. So we took the tank, rinsed out the tank, put VP non-ethanol fuel in there, took the carburetor off, thoroughly cleaned out the carburetor and all the jets, uh, put a brand new Harley Davidson battery in here. Uh, this is not, you know, aftermarket uh, Chinese Japanese battery. It's a, it's a top of the line Harley Davidson battery, it, Harley Davidson motor, Avon tires, disc brakes, custom exhaust, brand new. Now ask yourself, okay, first of all, where are you gonna find someone to build a bike like this today? Shops aren't turning out bikes like this anymore because back in the day, OCC's bike started at 40,000. Indian Larry's bikes, obscene amounts of money. Um, Jesse James bikes, and you could build your own. You could buy a frame like this, but the, the frame, you're gonna spend over two grand on a frame You've got 1500 bucks on the front end. You've got 1500 bucks to 2000 on rims and tires, and you got to buy a motor and a training. And it's easy to drop 15 grand on parts and then figure about 100 hours labor to handcraft, pinstripe, paint, and put everything together. And if you have to pay a shop to do it, shop rates, you're going to be looking at you know 100 hours of labor. So uh, if you could even find a shop to build a bike like this today, you're going to spend well over $20,000. So you can buy this bike for pennies, for a fraction of what, what, it, what it would cost to build it. And it's brand new, built by Johnny Moore, Fat City Choppers. Check him out online. Um, Well-known builder. 
It's got this little, uh, uh, looks like a King's Crown gas cap, which is pretty badass billet. I think that's really cool. The chrome, not a lot of chrome on the bike, just the chrome springs, headlight. Everything else is blacked out. Dude, like even like the levers and, and like the brake master right here, I mean, like that, that's not conventional shit you see on one of these. Like, like you see guys that build bikes and, and sometimes there's shortcuts, but I mean, Johnny, Johnny's Johnny was into it, man. Johnny was an artist, a true artist, true motorcycle aficionado, well-respected by the MC community in Connecticut and uh, well-known by the custom bike building community. His son, Dimitri, was an amazing painter um young guy in his 20s and, and he was laying down some of the nicest custom paint jobs so these guys uh it's a legacy it's a, it's a it's a end, end of an era them closing their shop they're right here in middletown connecticut definitely an end of an era and um you're buying a piece of moto history here this isn't this isn't one that was made in someone's garage uh by by an amateur mechanic this was made by master craftsmen in a in a licensed insured shop using the best of everything and, and this was this was johnny's a pride and joy so um if you have any questions about this badass ride give us a call 860-454-7024 we can ship it anywhere in the united states for you overseas to the uk i can get this bike to the uk for about 750 bucks so don't let the ship and scare you um Just import duties and taxes a message or zipper location for a quote we'll take care of you check this out it's got this cool leather 633 it matches the seat matches I mean, the seat yep come on. the 05 I'm taking her for one more rip, and then she's going on display in the museum. Uh, I got to show you how you start this thing. Check this out, man. This is just totally badass. It's got the SNS shorty garb. Come around this side here. Everything just feels right. You know, it feels like it, it's where it belongs. And that that's the kind of, you know, hey, this was the end of an era. This is one of the last choppers that was built in the chopper community. OCC is, is really isn't building this more. Indian Larry's gone. Um, people aren't building bikes like this anymore. But... They had been building them since the 60s. So for 50 years, they were crafting badass choppers. This is one that you can ride. This isn't just a like a super stretched out, super long and low Bourget or something like that um, with a long, you can't even turn it around on a, on a city block, you turn it around. This isn't that. This is a rider's bike. Race it bar to bar. It's, um, it's designed to ride, man, and look badass. And after 50 years of building them, they got it right, man. Straight up. But check this out. It, it starts it starts like a car Hey, you're gonna be dead a long time. If you want a you want a kick-ass chopper, buy one. Buy this one. If you're gonna build one, plan on a year in your garage, fiddling around, chasing parts. Um, you know, it's gonna be sold for a lot less than it could be replaced for straight up. That's just the way it is. Look at the chrome on the headlight. You see the clouds reflecting crazily. So thanks for watching. God bless America.